I put my thumb here. Uh, and go up to the right, there, up to the left. There, there. And then oh, pull it down and it's kind of short, but if if you let you want to let this go, your loop limb, mm -hmm. uh, and then vulnerable. if you pull down, then you blocked your sliding knot. So you, you blocked it here. At surgery, I usually will use my knot pusher, but this is probably down about as far as you need for it to be down. Uh, but if you start messing with your uh, with your loop limb, then you can't get it all the way down. Yeah, you like it too um, soon. And so then the pass point, as I'm sure he's already talked you about, but mm -hmm. see, I'm not getting it down too much further than where we started out, right? <laughs> so, uh, and then to lock it, you just pull this, and then it'll lock. So then you don't have to worry about keeping tension on. Whereas with a non-sliding knot, you do have to keep tension on both. Mm -hmm. on both this time you just go up to the right, up to the left, and back around through that same triangle. And then I pull down. The difference being. If I pull on this now, mm -hmm. it's gonna lock, and I can't, I can't slide. So that's be careful. That's one thing you have to be mm -hmm. careful about with locking knots. You don't pull on the knot post hand too soon because a lock you can lock it right in the middle of the cannula. I see. And then, so you, you, then you screwed your anchor. One uh, closest to you.